Hi, I'm Adam, design engineer with HPR. When we made the Savage Flux clip at the Blair Witch Trails, we never expected to get such a huge response. People wanting to know how many different batteries, what special parts were used, how did you do the standing backflip, did we use strings? And what's with the crazy double backflip jump? So we wanted to give you some insight behind the clip to show you what you really get from a Savage Flux. Filming the Savage Flux video took two hours, so we took two sets of batteries. These, two three cell, making six cell, or 22.2 volts of LiPo power. Total insanity. And these, two two cell, making four cell. Only 14.8 volts. You might not think that's enough, but now I'm going to show you how to do all the tricks that we did with just these batteries. Okay, this is a standing back flip. Uh, very easy to do. Just pull the trigger to fall from the standstill. Single back flip. Drive up to the ramp at medium speed, keeping all four wheels on the ground. As you approach the face of the ramp, pull the trigger in fully. Keep the trigger in fully while it does the first part of the back flip. As the nose starts to come round, slow the car down by pulling on the brake. This will slow the rotation and help you to spot the landing, keeping all four wheels on the ground. Double backflip. Drive up to the ramp maybe a little slower this time. Pull the trigger in really hard as you approach the face of the ramp and keep it pinned. And this time hold it in there for as long as you can. Watch the Savage do one backflip and as it starts to do the second one, slow it down by pulling on the brake again and spot your landing. And stay tuned, next time we're going to be unleashing these bad boys and we're going to be showing you how to handle all the extra power.